gonna give you guys the top five best meta loadouts in Warzone 3 right now. Everything that I'm gonna give you guys is everything that you'll absolutely need to go off, whether it's solos, duos, quads, trios. It doesn't really matter. This can even be good and competitive. So we're gonna start out with the Wasp 9. Start with a Zemin 35 compensated flash hider. Now this shortens radar pings. It actually helps with the vertical and horizontal recoil and it helps with firing aim stability. You do lose a little bit of bullet velocity, but in my opinion, you won't even notice it because this weapon already has high bullet velocity, and you do lose a bit of aim down sight speed, which is not a big deal. Next, you move on to the Wasp Reckless 90 Long Barrel for bullet velocity and range at the cost of sprint to fire speed, which is something that's not going to be very noticeable. 40 round mag, and the reason I chose 40 is because I usually play solos or duos, but if you're playing trios or quads and you can use 50, I just don't think the trade-off is worth it. Now, it doesn't feel that much different, but I just want to have as much movement and, you know, mobility as possible, so that's why I chose 40. Nider model 2023. Now, this is a very good site for the Wasp 9. If you want to use anything else, you can. It's just, in my opinion, this is the best possible choice. And last but not least, the Wasp factory stock. This helps with aim down sight speed, movement speed, and spread speed at the cost of some recoil control, gun kick control, and aiming out of sweat. Now, I really like this. Some people use the no stock. I just think it's too detrimental. And the other ones, I mean, if it helps with aim down sight speed, this also helps with aim down sight speed. So you really have to weigh your pros and cons. I mean, I think this is the best possible choice. There are some other ones, but I think this is the best one overall. This SMG does the job perfectly when it comes to short and medium range. Like, it's actually fantastic. Now, long range, you can get the kill, but it's just a little bit more difficult. Like, you're probably going to run out of bullets when you're playing, like, solos. Like, as you see, it's actually pretty easy to get the kill, though. Short to medium range, though, is where I would typically keep the shot. And if you really have to have a long range engagement, just make sure you have all your bullets so you'll actually be able to take out the target. Now, I'm going to show you guys the entire class setup. This thing is absolutely amazing. If you guys have made it this far, comment wasp correctly, like the, the insect wasp correctly. And I'm going to shout some of you guys and give some of you guys some cop points. But here's the entire class setup for the wasp nine. Next, we're moving on to the best long range weapon in the game right now, the MTZ 762. I did tweak it a little bit and now it is literally a laser. Throwing the Cassis Break L for horizontal recoil and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed. You may not realize this, but this thing is absolutely busted. Next, throwing the MTZ Precision Blackthorn Barrel for bullet velocity and range, aiming out of sway and firing aim stability. You do lose hip fire attack stance spread a lot and aim walking speed a little bit, but it's not a big deal. I really don't recommend anything else. This is honestly the perfect build right here. Throw on the Brune Pivot Vertical Grip for gun kick control, vertical recoil, aiming idle sway and firing aim stability at the cost of horizontal recoil, aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. I really have no better alternative. This is the best possible choice out, out of all of them that I've researched. This is really the best possible one. 30 round mag, because unfortunately you just can't get 40. If you got 40, I feel like this gun will be absolutely busted. They would have to really increase the cons. And last but not least, the Coriol Eagle's Eye 2.5 times. I think this is the best possible choice. I see some people using iron sights. So if you feel like using iron sights, be my guest. That's just not for me. And like I said before, this thing is just so easy to use. It's like honestly one of the most broken guns in the game right now. And in my opinion, it, it's rightfully so. There's not much recoil to have to control with this build has super high bullet velocity and just gets the job done very easily so here's the entire class that up right here just to show you guys hold on i gotta show you guys check out how much bullet velocity this thing has like it's absolutely twisted that's why i highly recommend this build right here if you guys haven't already make sure you guys screenshot this because this long range meta is exactly what you need Next, we're moving on to the HRM9. This gun is absolutely amazing, and in my opinion, one of the best weapons to use in solos. I mean, people are using it in competitive, but I love using it in solos. It just absolutely tears the enemy down. Throw on the Zemin 35 compensated flash hider. Once again, shortens radar ping, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability. You lose a bit of bullet velocity, but in my opinion, this gun does not need that much bullet velocity to get the job done. The fire rate actually makes up for it. Next, I'm throwing the Thorn 90 barrel for hip fire and attack stance spread, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and sprint speed at the cost of some recoil control and aiming out of sway. Now, I was initially using the Princeps long barrel, but trust me, this really, really helps. Like, for some reason, it just feels much better than Princeps, even though the Princeps has much better bullet velocity and range. I guess that hip fire attack stand spread really makes a huge difference. Next, I throw on the DR6 hand stop for aim walking speed, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed at the cost of hip fire attack stand spread, and aim walking steadiness. 50 round drum because that's just a must have on this gun. And last but not least, the folding stock. This helps with recoil control, gun kick control, and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed. 
This is honestly, in my opinion, one of the best SMGs in the game. I would recommend keeping your gunfights as short to medium range just because, I mean, you probably can win the long range engagements, but it's going to take a whole lot of work when you see it just how easy it is to actually just win the short to medium range engagements. So with that being said, here's the entire class up for the HRM9. This thing is absolutely amazing. Like I said, if you haven't played solos before, give this a try in solos and you're going to absolutely shred the enemies. A brand new meta that's in the game now since the update is the MTZ556, and I have to show you guys this class. Throw on the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor for being undetectable by the radar, recoil control, bullet velocity, and damage range at the cost of aim down sight speed, aim walkie steadiness, and sprint to fire speed. Next, throw on the MTZ Clinch Pro Barrel. This helps with bullet velocity, damage range, aiming out sway, and firing aim stability at the cost of a fire attack stand spread, and aim walking speed. Now, some people use the Drifter Heavy just to get some more gun kick control and recoil control. I just don't think that's necessary. I think the best choice is the Clinch Pro Barrel, but it's up to you whichever one you want to have. Next, I throw in the Bruin Heavy Support Grip for gun kick control, aiming out sway, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability at the cost of vertical recoil and aim down sight speed. 50 round drum is absolutely amazing. I mean, there's really no alternative you need to have the 50 round drum. And last but not least, Coral Eagle's Eye. I see some people using Iron Sights, so if you want to use the Iron Sight, completely up to you, but I use Coral Eagle's Eye. This gun is super easy to use literally at all ranges. It's just such an easy and broken gun that like, why wouldn't people start using it? I feel like it's on scale with the 7.62, especially at, I would say closer distances, it might actually be better than the 7.62 just because it's gonna probably kill faster. 7.62 is super good for super long ranges. It'll just kill in an instant. But this is the entire class setup for the MTZ 5.56. So now you have both MTZs, please try them out. I think they're absolutely amazing and you just need to weigh your pros and cons of whichever one you wanna use. The last thing, which is once again good in Warzone 3 is the Plymiot 7.62. The first thing you need to know is you need the Jack Annihilator Bullpup Kit. It helps with mobility and handling, rate of fire, hip fire attack, stand spread, and aim down sight speed. Don't worry about the cons because we're going to take care of everything. Throw on the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor L for being undetectable by the radar. Recoil control, bullet velocity, and damage range at the cost of aim down sight speed, aim walking sadness, and sprint to fire speed. Next, throw on the Jack Annihilator Long Barrel for bullet velocity and range at the cost of sprint to fire speed and aiming out of sweat. Rune Heavy Support Grip for gun kick control, aiming out of sweat, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability. The cons are not visible. Trust me, they do not matter. And last but not least, the Coral Eagle's Eye 2.5 times. This is just a given. You need to use this. I don't really suggest anything else but this. And just look at how amazing it is again it once again absolutely melts i remember when they nerfed it and it was just starting to like bounce all over the place but this gun is once again i would say honestly one of the meta guns in warzone 3 so if you haven't been using this check this out i already took out two like two rounds of targets and i still have 29 bullets left so this is this thing is absolutely insane like if i was accurate enough i would probably be able to take out all the targets but i probably let's see i probably have one bullet left oh one, two. Okay, two bullets left. This thing is absolutely amazing. So please make sure you take a screenshot of this class. If you can't see it, I'll make it look better for you guys. Oh, well, that didn't help at all. But Jack and Iler bull pip, Jack and Iler bull pup kit, Coral Eagle's Eye 2.5 times, Jack and Iler barrel, BT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor, and Bruin Heavy Support Grip. Also, this is why I universally run on like every single loadout. The smoke grenade is actually pretty optimal just because. When you're in a really tough situation, whether you're getting third party or whatever, you can just smoke grenade out of there. I hate scatter mines, it's so annoying, but scatter mines are pretty effective, I'm not gonna lie to you. But throwing knife, obviously, to take out the enemies once you knock them. I mean, this is just the most effective way to really get it done. Or you can actually knock an enemy with a throwing knife. It sounds crazy, but you can literally one-shot an enemy with a throwing knife, so keep that in mind. Double time, focus, tempered, and high alert. Now the alternative is double time, focus, tracker, and high alert. I have been seeing, you know, some rumors that focus isn't really that useful. So if you want to get rid of it, feel free. Um, let me know in the comment section how useful it is. I mean, I really like it. I feel like it's been beneficial, but if it's placebo, then I guess the alternative would be sleight of hand, depending on the gun you use, EOD to avoid, you know, explosives or mutineer just to, you know, not take fall damage like that.